What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial Mortal Kombat character today. Sorry, I don't draw Mortal Kombat characters more, but I don't like, I don't watch it or play the game or anything. I did when I was younger, but uh, I saw the Rad Brad did videos of this, so I thought I'd draw this guy. Because the scorpion, like, he's just kind of looking normal, like got a normal face sort of thing going on, which is interesting. Landscape page. I'm drawing on. Use a pencil, use an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. Let's go. So, we're going to start with the eyes. Realistic human eyes. And he's got like a big frown. So, we'll probably start with the frown actually. Yeah. So, we'll go center point of my page about here, come up. And then we will try this big frowny line. Frowning eyebrow. Going this way, right? It's a big hairy sort of eyebrow. And then goes back this way. And it gets sort of skinnier as you get down there. So then, top eyelid line comes around here, across. Tear duct here at the front, and then this will go down this way and back into the corner. Got a tear duct here, and then like some kind of eyelid sort of lines, like on top this way, coming down here as well, coming down the sort of side of his eye. And I'll thicken this up for eyelashes too. Okay. So, you can give him an iris and a pupil if you want, or you can give him the ghost eyes. So, I will go sort of ghost eyes, I think. So, just doing these kind of lines going around like this would be enough to make it look like he's kind of blind, right? And then you do it like gray or green inside. Now, if you wanted, you could do a circle and a pupil inside there as well. I think he looks cooler with the white eyes. That's just me. So, I'll leave it like this. Right, so then, like, bottom sort of eyelid line there. And then some, like, bags sort of underneath his eye here. Right, and then we got like some more, like a bigger frown sort of thing here. He looks sort of intense, right? And like a frown coming across the top of his nose there. Okay, and then the other eyebrow comes down the other side. Same sort of thing again. Hairy kind of spiking eyebrow curving down like so. And then comes back. Like that. And I can maybe we have some like forehead sort of lines there. Okay, so the other eye, right? So you're aiming for eye width across because we're in standard human proportion. So the width of his eye comes across like in the middle, an eye width. So you have an eye, you can fit an eye here, and then the next eye will start. So you want those three distances to be about the same. So like here to here, here to the next eye, which I'll put like here, right? That's his tear duct starting. So that and that are about the same. And then you do the same thing again. So you could like mark it if you wanted. Or you could just go for it. So you go up, cross, and then down, right? So about the same size. And then this goes underneath, back up into the corner, into that tear duct in there, right? 
the you know, eyelashes like so and then give them a ghost eye okay and give that thicken up the top line a bit and then we'll add like an eyelid line just coming across the top here again down and in there stuff coming across the bottom I think he's got like temples the side of his forehead coming up here okay so that's his eyes right looking serious he has a scar in this picture for some reason but I don't think he always has a scar so I'll leave it maybe I'll see I don't know how I feel about the scar yet. So his mask, right? So he's got this golden elaborate mask. So it comes across the top of his nose there. Down like so. Down to there. And then it'll curve around his eye. Up to there. Same on this side. Up to there. And then this goes down and around towards his ear. It goes underneath his hair, but we just have a spike, say there. Same on this side, spike. So we get the overall shape and then we'll do all the details on the inside. So this seems to curve like so. And then we have this like black section kind of just go we'll go like straight down from there like another curving line kind of and then we meet a jaw corner which comes down to the chin so I'd imagine the same sort of level so we'll go here and then down towards the chin right and then this little Cross like that. Okay, so his nose then, so we've got like, let's say like a line down the middle here. And then this goes square across and up to the corner, up to the corner. Now this is complicated, so this will go kind of curve around here, down to like there, okay, and this will do the same thing, so there, okay, so it kind of looks like a whale's tail coming out of the water, and then we have like another curving line here there's lots of these curving lines now so like that and it looks like another one up here so it goes i think it goes like this way and then flat across here okay so say the chin right comes out this way lots of these angles now down and then across so then this seems to come up the corner of his face to there and it disappears under another one then it goes like back to like that so there's like a triangle there and then this goes down up to there so trying to keep it as symmetrical as we can but it's pretty difficult so okay like that and then this goes up here so he has like a cheek area right so it kind of curves there and then it'll curve 
here, right? And this cheek plate goes around into another spike that's here. So we'll do go like around here first, right? So kind of like that, right? This goes in behind another one. So let's say, hmm. so we'll do, we'll do this one first. It's like a jigsaw puzzle, this, it's crazy. So there, we do that one first, right? And then there, right? And then this goes up to there, it might be like a, a bit wider actually, another thing there. Okay, right? Then this seems to go in beside this, say there. And then this as well. Why am I whispering? There. Uh, right. And I think it has like a bit of an edge. Like that. Okay. So then we have ridges inside here as well. So there's like a black section. So this is like the smallest sort of curve. Okay, there, and then another one here. Like that, okay. Take your time now with this because it's pretty complicated. Even for me. Okay, so there's like another hoop, right? That like comes out here. And then goes to the corner up there right so we'll do same thing here pretty much like that and then there's another one inside this seems to curve off just the side of his face there. So the other one is, oh man, I can't even see where that is. Here, comes in from here. Right, and then, It meets another one that goes this way. And around and up to there. So that and then like that, I think. Right, so there, 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 here. Okay, so that's pretty complicated. Not gonna lie. Right, and then he has uh, lines on the inside of that black mask. And then like some cracks and dirt. some textures on all this. Like so. Okay, so sideburns and hair, forehead. Like 
this just this zigzag line that goes around his head. And then his hair is kind of so like the long tight back, like so it's kind of just this bumpy sort of thing. Coming around his head this way. sticking up here Right, and then it seems to be like tied at the back here. So it just like bumps around in a knot sort of thing. So like these just have all texture lines going down towards his head there. And then these texture lines just like curve back and around the head. So, right, and then his ears just come out from behind his hair here and go down behind the mask. Body, anatomy, clothing, etc. So he's got like a lot of leather straps and stuff. So we're kind of side on, right? Three quarters. So we can see his neck just coming down on the inside here. Right, and like a neck muscle there, maybe Adam's apple. Then his collar comes out from behind his neck here. It comes across the body like that. And it kind of crisscrosses here as well. It goes kind of behind the neck. And then this other leather strap comes out this way. And then down that way. And then we've got sort of like an edge to this. This goes up that way, like so. And then, like, you can see his neck muscle on that side in there. And this is like all leather, so it's got like you know, just textures on it and stuff. And there's another leather strap in here with some edge lines on them. And then, so that's like the center line for his chest, right? So his shoulder sort of bumps out this way, right? So we've got like some straps and bumps and stuff. Like there's a strap here, All right? And then this bumps this way and he's got an armored shoulder thing. So it kind of goes out like in waves like this. Okay, and then the armor goes back in. 
and then his shoulder comes out from there. Muscular shoulder, tricep quite big there. And then we can just see some clothing just going that way. Going up around there. We'll just do the other side. So there's another sort of strap here just coming around his chest kind of a thing. layers of shoulder armor and then the shoulder itself so you can see now his face is full on and his shoulder width is three quarters so what that means is like this side of his shoulder is half the size of this because you can only it's turned away so you can only see three quarters of a full body pose so you go one two three okay so like a quarter is missing and it's from this side so this if you divided this up into thirds, would be one, two, three. Okay, this is half the size of this side. Okay, now it's kind of tricky to understand, but three quarter pose usually when they're like this, you know, not when it's like turned side on more. Confusing. <laughs> Hopefully it's clear. So uh, he's got a strap coming across his chest not really a strap it's like leather and then this this is a strap that comes down that way these straps have like wrapping sort of lines on them it's like they're curved around one another it's like braided or leather twisted and then you have like an edge line and an edge like stitching on this like that and then some twisted braiding sort of lines on this as well Right, and then this leather stuff comes down this way, and then you'll have like some edges on this, right, and like you know, textures and stuff all over. Like so. And then he has some sort of like a medallion or something on his chest here. So we'll just draw in like a silver button sort of thing. Just like a circle. yellow part of his costume just the light sort of lines kind of stitched in or really light like that right and then tattoos so he's got like a scorpion tattoo here right so it's kind of like crazy looking just see like the tail
right going down that way and then there's like a shoulder muscle line there his chest and bicep and stuff comes out that way like his deltoid muscles and things there and like textures on all this leather That's everything. Scorpion. Mortal Kombat 1. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.